I am Anil Kumar and here are three practice questions on exponential equations. Solve 4 to the power of minus x equals to 8, 2 to the power of x minus 3 equals to 4 to the power of x plus 1 and 25 to the power of x equals to 5 square root of 5. So 4 to the power of minus x is good to write them both right side and left side in terms of the exponents of 2. So 4 could be written as 2, right? 2, two squares. So we could write 2 square to the power of minus x equals to 8 is 2 cube, right? So that is how you could write it with the base of 2. So here we get 2 to the power of minus 2x equals to 2 to the power of 3. And then we can write minus 2x equals to 3 or x is equals to minus 3 over 2. So, x equals to minus 3 over 2 is our solution for the first equation. Now, let's do the next one. So, we have the same strategy. We have to have the same base. On the left side, it is base of 2. So, we'll write 2 to the power of x minus 3. On the right side, we could write 4 as 2 square. So, 2 square and we already have x plus 1. That gets multiplied. Now, we can equate the exponent. So, we get x minus 3 equals to 2 times x plus 1 or x minus 3 equals to 2x plus 2. Solve this equation. So bringing 2 to the left side, we get minus 3 minus 2 equals to 2x minus x or x is equals to minus 5. So x equals to minus 5 is our solution. For the next equation, we can write 25 as 5 square. So we get 5 square to the power of x equals 2. 5 square root 5 means 5, 1 plus half, right? That is what it is. Square root 5 means 5 to the power of half. Same base, when you multiply, add the exponents. So here we'll apply the power rule. So we get 5 to the power of 2x equals to 5 to the power of 2 plus 1, 3 over 2. Now 2x is equals to 3 over 2 or x is equals to 3 over 4. So that is how you can simplify and solve such equations. I hope that helps. Thank you.